Song of the Fallen Angel. The Fallen Angel is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice. Her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. Her requiem will become a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies? That's right. Her name is... What is it? Blah! What is this? What, what, what is this? Why is this here? What the hell is happening? I remember putting it back bag. Yeah, and you keep dropping it, Marie. <laughs> Calm down, Miss Fallen Angel. You were disrupting our guests. Don't shout at me just because you dropped huh? a poem, Marie. I didn't mean to read it. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? This is James Burst, and welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last time, Nanako was kidnapped by Namatame. We realized Namatame had kidnapped Yukiko, Kanji, Rise, Naoto, and now Nanako. And thrown him into the TV world. He is nowhere to be found. We could save Nanako at any time, but we are gonna wait until uh, a good day. So today, as you saw, we, we have Marie's poem available. That should be available on November 4th? That'll be the first day that's available, and I believe also a new TV channel is available. Let's see. Oh, more of the beta stuff. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, we have... we have a quest for today. In Okina City, there should be a quest for us. Yes, there is! Hey, you! I saw you riding that bike! Yeah, that was me. Are you okay? Aha! I knew it! The police at this station are useless! You have to help me! It's my Mika-chan. She's missing. I thought she'd be fine since Emi-chan was with her. But she goes wandering outside so out sometimes by herself. What if she winds up in Inaba and someone kidnaps her? You could go further on that bike, can't you? Go look for my Mika-chan in Inaba. Sure. She really likes me. I hope she isn't eating stuff off the ground that she's not supposed to. Find my pet. Okay, you had me worried for a sec. I thought it was a child, but it's a pet. Well, I have to be worried anyway. You okay, police officer? That's your job. Alright. So, let's help this. Let's find this pet. Ah, oh, there's a dog there. Well, you want some... Sozai Daigaku? Hmm... How about a steak? Uh... It was Mika-chan, right? Oh no, Emi-chan. It wasn't Yuri-chan. There we go. Okay, we well, should check back another day. But there's something else in Okina City. There should be. Pyrojack! Okay, let me try this again. Hopefully I get it this time. Oh man. Okay. That sucks. Well, today we're gonna be hanging out with Hisano, but... Yeah, let's hang out with Hisano today, since it's Sunday. Apparently last time she has no idea where her letters are. Mm. 
when he died, I cleaned out the storehouse. Did I sell them along with everything else? Oh. Well, maybe let's look around the shopping district. Daidara! Do you know about Hisano's letters? Hmm, I just bought a bunch of antiques from an estate sale by a woman who lost her husband. I found these strange letters in what I bought. They're love letters, don't you think it's strange? Throwing them away is a bit cold, and returning them to their owner is also kind of an ambition of reading them. I'll take them off your hands. Thank you. You still know, I got them for you. Yes. My. They are. My. The letters from my husband? How? My, my. Oh my. It must have been when he came to collect the contents of the storehouse. So that's where I kept the letters. Thank you, Yu Chan. From the bottom of my of this old woman's heart. I'm so happy. Aww. I'm glad I could help. But I'm going to burn them. Why? I'll go get some matches. Aww. She's gonna burn them. I, I don't know. It's it's kind of bad, but let's read a little bit. The wooden well frame. I was once shorter than it. I have outgrown it in the time that we have been kept apart. I want to see you so much. How much sky, earth, and water do my words have to run through? On and over, to reach you, my dear Kisa-san. How I wish I was this postcard. Isn't that just so sad? He had no idea that he was being deceived. Deceived? I'm sure he never imagined that the Hisa-san he loved would someday wish to see him dead. What? What do you mean? You didn't love him? He was kind, honest, and a loyal man. He fell ill and became bedridden. I had to work to support our family. He would always apologize to me for failing as a husband. When he did, he would smile so sadly. His illness worsened, and he must have been scared. He began to take his fear and frustration out on me. Oh, man. The man who had been so kind. But that didn't bother me at all. I had agreed that I would work and take care of him the day we were wed. In sickness and in health. But, but he forgot. He forgot who I was, and he forgot all about me. I couldn't bring myself to love him. I couldn't forgive the way he would look at me with such confusion in his eyes. And when I cried, he would wipe my tears away. Like the man he had been all those years ago, I couldn't forgive that. I couldn't bear that. That stranger in his body, stealing his mind day after day. When he slept, I tried to kill him. But I couldn't. While I was standing over him, he looked up, and he smiled at me. The same smile he gave me when I was a girl. And in the same voice he would use to tell me he loved me, he asked, Who are you, ma'am? That was three years ago. After that day, he would forget who I was every morning. Every day, he would ask me, Who are you? Every day, I would answer, Who am I today? 
I was a total stranger to him until the very end. He was being cared for by a stranger as he passed away. That was his punishment. Punishment for forgetting me. That must have been tough. I was relieved. Before I could feel anything else, I felt relief. Relief it was finally over for both of us. It was then that I realized that I had been wanting him to die. And because I wished it, he left this world and went to the gods. I am death itself. Oh man. It's rough. Please, throw the letters away. I can't bear to see them anymore. I don't want to touch them anymore. I'm sorry. so empty in here. It ain't right. You can even hear it in the music. Alright. Uh, we finished that model last time, did we? I think it was Brahman? No, no, no. There we go. Okay. What do you got for us, Tanaka? Keep me busy for a little while. Eagle eye? Hmm. And diet food. Megrel tuna. Ooh. Oh. Oh man. You know, I'm going to go for Megarotina just to be safe. Hopefully the cat actually can eat it. I hope so. Okay. Today we're going to be taking our fortune stay, and we're going to be doing it for Marie. Great blessing, alright, that's what I wanted. We're going to be doing the fortune for, I think, two more times, one or two, just until we could get ability to rank up today. And that's why the South Pole is colder than the North Pole. Speaking of cold, it got cold really quickly this year. Remember to wear extra layers so you don't get sick. But ladies, it's no good to wear warm-ups under your skirts. Why? Because no one can see your legs, Mr. Yamada. Alright, uh, that was a joke. Just my way of reminding you all to wear your school uniforms, got it? Alright, back on topic. I'll ask a question about the South Pole. I'll pick you, you coon, since you don't even button the front of your uniform in cold weather. Which country do you think the South Pole belongs to? Australia. No country. No country owns it. How'd you know? I'm impressed. You're right, the South Pole doesn't belong to anyone. The Antarctic Treaty System of 1961 rules that all land below 60 degrees south latitude belongs to no nation. Similarly, the North Pole is not owned by any country either. In fact, there is no land at the North Pole, just ice floating on the ocean. <laughs> now please get out your textbooks, let's go over the...
All right. So today we have a few things we need to do today. First up in Croco Four, there should be some new looks. Yeah, the hard boiled look. Uh, how much is that? Who's it for? Oh, it's for the men. Mm hmm. I got a lot of costumes that I already went over. Uh. Dang, almost 100k? Jesus. And uh, you know what? Oh, it's only for me? Okay, yeah, we'll buy that. Nah, I'm not gonna equip it. And... We'll buy the dangerous briefs. Nah, no, don't equip that now. Alright. I want to talk to Daidara since maybe he has something else to face on us. Hmm, you came at a good time. Do you remember those letters I gave you before? Well, I found more than. If you want these two, you're more than welcome to them. Yeah, I'll take them. Hopefully it could at least cheer up his a bit. Today, we're going to be hanging out with Aerie. It has been so long since we... Like, did our daycare job and all that. They must have thought we quit or something. Take this, Fetter Vacuum! F fetter Chop! There's no such move. Y yeah, there is. I saw it. You liar. You can lie again. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'll tell the teacher on you. Better vacuum. I never seen Phoenix Ranger Fetterman R. You should watch it. She's always watching TV. Have you asked to watch it? N no, I can't. If I do that, she'll hate me. I don't think so. I'm sorry I'm late. Don't don't apologize to me. You gotta apologize to Yuta. Yeah, apologize to him. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being late. I don't care. Uh, I'll make it up to you. Is there anything you want? I'll buy it for you. Anything at all. Just tell me what it is. Huh? <laughs> you like to play outside, so how about a soccer ball? Oh, okay. Y you don't want one? Um, then how about a samurai sword? When I was young, I used to... No! I don't want anything. I'm going home. Rejected. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Things will never seem to go my way. I don't know what a child wants. Fetterman are. He'll like that. Is that so? I, I think I s it's on during one of the shows I usually watch. Phoenix Ranger Fetterman R, huh? Well then. I think I'll buy him a Phoenix Ranger Fetterman R toy or something. <laughs> it's like a Merlin Browning points. Thank you. You got this. You just have to talk to him. Then I'll see you again. 
See you again. Man. I gotta get out of here. Let us, uh, let's pray for Marie once again. So that we get closer to her. Great blessing. Nice. Two in a row. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to check on that dog. Why'd I go to the practice building? Hey, doggo. How you doing today? It's okay. It's alright. Don't be angry. It's okay. Alright. You want a steak skewer? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll come back tomorrow. Actually, we're gonna be hanging out with... Another one that's been a long time since we hanged out. Naoki, how you doing, man? Hi. Yeah, let's hang out. Yes. Um, sorry about last time, how I kept talking all about that nonsense. I wanted to apologize for that. I don't mind. I'll listen to you anytime. <laughs> I get that a lot. You don't distance yourself from me or any like anyone else. Or preach to me like you know everything. <laughs> I feel comfortable around you. You know, I like cream puffs. I know, it's kind of girlish. There's a good cream puff shop by our house, so every once in a while I'll buy some and take them home. If I put them in the fridge, Sis would eat them. she make up some lame excuse like, I ate them for you since they were about to expire. So we'd always get into fights over the cream puffs. But now... The cream puffs don't disappear. I bought some, and they still expired in the fridge. When I saw that, I thought, um, maybe... Maybe Sis isn't here anymore, you know? So I threw them away. I told you before, if you ask me if I hate the killer, the answer is no. The truth is, it's not even a no. I don't know anything. I have a meaningless daily life. Just confused parents in a dark house. Just rotting cream puffs. How do I get out from that? Would it be best for me? For sis? I just don't know. Take action. I know. I know I'm stagnating. I know it's not good. I know that I need to move. I know all that. Come to think of it. Sometimes Sis will bring cream puffs back from her job at Juness. We would eat them and complain that Juness's brand tasted bad. Sis looked like she was having a hard time working at Juness. But she said it would eventually be for the sake of our store. She'd played around, but sometimes she acted like the eldest sibling. That always irked me. Um... Next time, will you go to Juness with me? 
I like to check it out. Of course. I'll see you again. We can work as a tutor today. Mm. I think we're going to do that next time. So, next time let's play Persona 4 Golden. You know what, let's get out first. We're going to spend time with Shu, and then go until we're able to go into the Midnight Channel. See you guys then.